Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do Spearman's link. And in my um, sample data, I'm comparing cats versus cars with my really silly idea that maybe there's a correlation. If cats go up, then cars go down because more people are riding their cats to work. It's nonsense, but this is what we're doing. So we want to do a Spearman's link. Um, and in order to do that, we need to fill out this equation right here. And this is 1 minus 6 times the sum of the difference of the ranks squared divided by the number of data points times data points squared minus one. Now, we have to rank our data. And the way that we can do that easily. OK, sorry. So um, we are going to hit equals rank. We're going to open parentheses. We're going to highlight the first cell. Then we're going to hit comma. We're going to highlight all of our data. And you can either leave it there or you can choose to make it ascending or descending with a zero, comma zero, or comma one. Now, I'm just going to do ascending, which I believe is just if you just leave it with nothing, it'll just be ascending. Now, with Spearman's rank correlation, you want to make sure that you're considering how it should be ranked. Now, I'll give you the example of one that should be ranked descending order and one that should be ranked ascending order. Um, so, so the question is if you want to be in descending order, which means that the greatest number is positioned in the first rank. So if you're talking about ranking based off of like the longest or the farthest or anything like that, you want the default, which is uh, descending order. However, if you're talking about rankings in the competition, you want ascending order, which means that the lowest value is positioned in the first rank. So first place gets first rank. Ascending. So you kind of have to think about exactly what it is. Then you're going to go to the, you're going to have to click on the bottom right of your cell and click and drag. Okay. Yep. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing again for the second one equals rank. We're going to click on the first cell. Then we're going to comma, click and drag. And I'm going to do ascending again, anyways. And I'm going to go to the bottom right of the cell, click and drag. Okay. Now I want the difference. Difference. Okay. In order to do that, I want the difference between my ranks from here to here. So I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to click on my first one, minus my second one, and it's going to autofill. Okay, so this is my difference in ranks. Now I have to square them. So difference squared. Okay, and I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to click on my cell. I want to square that cell, so I'm going to multiply it by itself. And I'm going to autofill. Okay. So now this is my differences right here. Then I'm going to add them all together because that's what I want. So it already has done that, but if you didn't, if it didn't automatically do that, it equals sum. And I can click and drag, or I can put input all my cells into it. And now this is my sum of d squared. Now I'm going to put this in for my experiments correlation, which we call rho. I'm going to put equals 1 minus, it's really important to put your um, parentheses. Okay, 6 times 166 equals divided by again. And I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. Data points. And I'm going to hit enter. And this is my Spearman's rank correlation. It seems that there is no correlation between a very little negative correlation between cats and cats. Uh, by the way, this data is completely made up.
Um, there's no citation for it. It's just a sample. So um, that's how you can find your Spearman's right correlation in Excel.